Life is not a bed of roses and business is done at the war front. What that means is business is not for the lazy. Business is not for those that cannot negotiate. Business is not for those that are always sleeping. Are you aware that if you sleep from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning, you have wasted 8 hours of your time? Now, 8 hours times 365 days, it gives you 2,920 hours. That means in a year, you, have, you always sleep 2,920 hours. If you divide that by 24 hours per day, it gives you 121 days. Of sleep that means in a year you always sleep 121 days of your life wasted buried on the on your bed that is not for entrepreneurs that is not for the business people that is not for those that are ready to break through that are ready to make it in life if you must succeed you must deny yourself certain things you must deny yourself certain pleasures you must be ready to be rejected you must be ready to be blackmailed you, you must be ready to face those that even are not ready to look at you. You must be ready to present files in offices before men that are not ready to listen to you. You must be ready to, st to step into a bank with a file and negotiate and strike a deal without looking at anybody's face. You must be ready to beat all odds. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands, your business will collapse. A little folding of the hands, your poverty will overtake you. A little folding of the hands, you will lag behind, you will slack. A little folding of the hands, beloved, you will, you will run out of ideas. And so you must keep on striving. You must keep on negotiating. You must keep on fighting. You must keep on prizing. You must keep on negotiating. You must rewrite that business plan. You must present that business deal again. You must visit that conference again. You must go back to the bank. You must visit that office again and start a new negotiation. You must write out a proposal again and present. You must do one thing or the other. You must redress your, your steps. You must go back to that boardroom and defend your business. You must go back to Nanda and tell them your product is up to standard. Before you succeed, beloved, it's not easy for your brand to stand out. You must be able to wake up every day. At this level of your life, if you are still waiting for a brother that will send you money for you to start a business, then you have not started, you are still sleeping. At this level of your life, if you are still waiting for a relative that will sign out a check for you, then you will remain in poverty and be buried in poverty and well in poverty forever. Beloved, at this level of your life, if you are still waiting for someone to wake up one day and remember you and send you bulky money for you to enjoy, beloved, I tell you that day will never come. And so you must grab your own opportunity. You must cut your own pie by force. You must be ready to strike your own deals. You must be ready to stand tall, to stand and defend your cause of destiny, your cause of existence. You must walk your way out. You must walk your business out. You must strategize. You must build your own track. You must start, set your own standards. You must be ready to be fought and be ready to confront any wolf, any tiger, any lion, any beast on your way. You must be ready to face the force of life. Life, oh life. Life will not give you what you desire. Life will not give you what you just think and imagine. Life will only give you what you fight for. Therefore, you must stand to fight for your business, fight for your contract, fight for your promotion, fight for that, that connection. You must fight for that loan. You must fight for that, uh, that area that you want to occupy your own territory. You must be ready to pay the price. You must fight in the room of preparation, in the room of reading, in the room of skill accusation. You must fight in your own territory to capture and cut your own pie. You must be ready to mine your own gold, whether you are weak or strong. Be ready, Martin Luther said, that we must keep going. If you cannot fly like others, start running. If you cannot run, walk. If you cannot walk, crawl. By all means, don't be stagnant. Keep moving. Move out. Do something. Step out. Dress up on Monday morning, Friday morning, Sunday morning, Saturday morning. Every day of the week, dress up, prospect, do something, go out, aspire for something, reach out for something, apply for something, read out something, do something for your life. That way, your business will grow. That way, you will improve. That way, when men, when you stand among men, then we know that a man is standing among us. But if you sleep and slumber and pray and bind and fast, beloved, one day, death will knock at your door. And then you will cry. 
and weigh in disappointment, frustration, and rejection. And you start blaming others. And you think your God does not exist. 